What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages? Welcome back to my channel, El Chumbo Custom Dioramas. Also, don't forget to follow my Instagram, El Chumbo underscore NYC, because you know that is the place to be. You know what I mean? Look, everyone, salute. I hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, we're back with a brand new episode. Okay, first of all, I want to thank all my subscribers for going back to the previous video on the completion of the bodega New York City. It was a great turnout. I had a lot of great feedback and of course I had numerous people reach out to me wanting some type of commission. So it looks like I may be busy for the next couple of months. So with that said, in today's episode, we're actually going to talk about a diorama. Yes, but one that I did not build is actually the neck up Predator 2 a trophy wall that came out in 2013 and right now is going on Amazon and on eBay for almost $300 plus okay fortunately I was able to find one on eBay a few months ago and I paid a reasonable price for it and it also included some accessory packs which are also rare and expensive so if you're planning on getting one of these after I review it Make sure you save up some money, okay? So, with that said, stick around. We're going to go ahead and look at the box. We're going to look at the diorama, talk a little bit about it, and actually unbox one of my mitten box predators that I've been holding on for a long time. So, let's look at the artwork for the box. First thing we want to notice is it says trophy wall diorama. There goes the picture. It has a brief description. It's about 11 inches tall and about 12 and a half across. Okay, if you look up, uh, limited edition, 5,000, as I alluded to earlier. So that means there is 4,999 still floating around in the entire world. Can you believe that? And I own one. Now, this particular diorama only brings the skull of some type of dinosaur like a t-rex or something from back in the days accessory packs you have to order separately which will be an extra cost and some of the items that you will be receiving on that accessory pack is like a you know a alien skull right there uh this other skull which i have no idea what kind of creature it is but it looks really really neat love the details Pretty hard uh, material. And by the way, these are made by NECA as well. Here goes another one. Okay. And here goes the skull. And another skull. Among other skulls that I that are already placed on the pegs for this diorama. Now the instructions are pretty simple, straightforward. You have two pictures, one on my left with numbers. You know, they all bring pegs, which are numbered and listed up there. And then this is the placement on them on the right. So pretty simple. I already went ahead and placed all the pegs in their respective areas. Here are some of the pegs. Okay. They're pretty sturdy. Uh, it's like a hard re resin. I think the entire diorama is made of a hard resin because it weighs a pound. The diorama weighs weighs a pound. Okay, some more artwork. Okay, I love this picture down there. It's pretty neat. I'm going to try to take some cool pictures uh, with this diorama. Okay, here's some more artwork. So here is the piece in all its glory. The pegs, you know, they are right behind each skull. So you have a, well, a total of about eight. I added this skull right here because I have some extra. The gentleman who sold this on eBay uh, really surprised me with all the extra skulls. And uh, it's pretty expensive, uh, by the way, the, uh, the extra skull. The, the, I really didn't look those up, but they are rare and expensive because this is the only skull that you will get. 
Now, all of these will come on the accessory pack that you have to order separately, as I mentioned earlier. So just check out the detail on the wall. It is so superb. There is no way that I'll be able to emulate or even build a diorama of this quality. It's just superb, all the details. Very hard. Okay, as I mentioned, it's like a hard resin. It almost has like the appearance of made of bronze or copper, but that's not the case. In the back, you will see uh, all rights reserved, Fox and made in China. And uh, it's pretty straightforward, okay? So today we are opening the Predator 2 City Hunter for the first time since I purchased this a couple of years ago when Toys R Us was still up and running. So uh, this is a pretty, pretty neat Predator. All right. Uh, it's got many accessories to it. Check out the picture. Look at all them awesome accessories. So what better predator to go with this diorama? So let's go ahead and speed this up and open it up, crack them out the box. Now look how superb these predators look in front of this trophy wall diorama. They pop and of course NECA is killing it when it comes to giving accessories and many features and details to these predators. I truly love the craft and I just love NECA period. Uh, predator collectors, this is a must have. If you don't have one, by all means, go out there and try to find it, okay? now. Along with the City Predator or City Hunter, I have the Elder Predator, which is very amazing. And to the left, I have the Clan Leader Predator, which is, I believe, is a hard one to find nowadays, okay? I think I believe I uh, purchased this one at uh, Toys R Us as well, okay? So, anyhow, one gripe that I have with the diorama is that it did not bring a base, so I am planning to make one because this is going into a detolf somewhere here in my man cave, okay? Well, we'll supply it with a nice little floor made of half inch foam and create some nice, you know, designs on the floor. Perhaps later on, I'll take pictures and post them on my Instagram once they are done, okay? Now, before I go, I just wanna show you that joining the show, to my right, I have my grails, which I never intend to open, okay? My SDCC Albino Predator, the very elusive red, or big red predator rather, and of course, the wasp predator. These are my grails. They're not going anywhere. They're staying with me in box. So uh, with that said, I appreciate you uh, viewing this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, and if you are new, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can go, go ahead and receive all the uh, recent videos that I'll be posting, okay? So as usual, keep loving, keep creating. Peace.